Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katarina and today I want to address something that is really important but some people struggle to understand. Uh, some of them say, you know, we shouldn't judge, the Bible says that and similar things. Let me tell you something. You don't read your Bible. The God of the Bible is clear. No other gods, no other ways, no compromises in faith. Here I speak about the real gospel. We are saved by Jesus Christ and no one else. Islam says that Muslims should respect other false gods and false ideologies because guess what? Their God is one of them. And my God says that I should respect only him because he is the creator of the universe and the cosmic fire. Let me explain something to you. I am follower of Jesus Christ, not Muhammad. And when you hear my name, every single time you are going to remember that. I don't lower my standards because you disagree with me. Of course, on a daily basis, Muslims reach out to me. And one of them told me this. Oh, you know, if you follow Jesus Christ, then you should respect Islam and Prophet Muhammad because Jesus, peace be upon him, taught humanity and peace on earth. This person said, you shouldn't judge about Muhammad and post these all evil things about him because Jesus said, you shouldn't do that. Listen, first thing, I don't post bad things about Muhammad. I post the truth from your history and from Islamic sources. And second thing, Jesus said, first take the plank from your own eye, then you will be able to take the speck from your brother's eye. Jesus judged every day. Every minute he walked in his ministry, he called the Pharisees wipers and he told them they're gonna die in their sins. That sounds judgmental to me, don't you think? The righteous person who serves the Lord with his or her whole heart has every right to advise people about their wrong belief system, about their sins, and about the false gospel they follow. I stand for my beliefs and I know what I speak is right because my knowledge is coming from the word of God. I find it so interesting that every new ex-Muslims I meet speaks out loud against Islam. They are terrified of it. They call it hell on earth. You know why? Because they have experienced it. They know how it feels and the Lord delivered them from that deception. He gave them the ears to hear, the eyes to see, and the heart to feel. So, of course, if you are delivered from the trap, you're going to expose it. You're going to despise the trap that others are falling for. If you really love your neighbor, if you really love your brother as yourself, you will not let your brother fall for the same trap that you fell for. I myself, I'm not an ex-Muslim. I was going to marry a Muslim man. I am a Christian all my life, praise the Lord. But all my knowledge I get was through my relationship with him. All the things I have to go through. Um, I lived among Muslims for two years. I didn't have any Christian to be with me, to support me and to help me in the times of trouble. I met one pastor after a long time living there and fighting against this all alone and facing all of the challenges and he was just there for me, you know, if I need to speak to someone or to support me, but I was alone. There are a few Christians now who come and say, you know, oh, we should not do it in that way, we should show them love, we should not speak out against Muhammad, we should respect what they believe, we should let them live their life, you know, and come to the Lord in some, I don't know, miracle way, or I don't know how they think. Uh, let me tell you something. I want you to go to that unfollow button. I want you to click it. And I want you to go and not come back, okay? If you are a Christian who is like, you know, 
We should respect Prophet Muhammad. We should respect what they believe in. They taught them that things from their small, young age. What should they do? We shouldn't expose these things about they are killing our people on every corner of the street. You know, let them have their life. And they are good people and they are so sweet. And some of them, they just don't follow the teachings of Quran or Muhammad. They are just like beautiful, amazing human beings. Oh, don't do it in that way. Don't hurt their feelings. We shouldn't judge. We should love them. Listen, you are selfish. You don't give a damn where their soul is gonna go. That's why you don't. You will not even bother yourself to preach the gospel to them or teach them anything. You don't need any confrontation in your life. I will give you one example. You are having a friend who is a homosexual and you are a Christian and you are like, oh, you know... I love you for who you are and it's fine like you are born like that so you know God loves you and he would like you to repent of your sin but you know I love you I don't want to hurt you I hope you understand me I don't judge you man he's gonna die in his sin do you care about your brother you have to know one thing our actions will be condemned if we don't do the work that God ordained us to do on this earth this is my job which has a purpose and that purpose is a kingdom of heaven. What I will never, ever, ever do is hiding the truth to protect myself. Jesus said, whoever tries to keep his life will lose it. But whoever loses it for his name's sake will find it. Islam is a big deal. Things that Muhammad did and instructed others to do are detestable in the eyes of the Lord, the God of Israel. If I don't address these things, how someone is going to come to the knowledge of the truth? If they don't acknowledge that something is wrong, how they will know something that is right? If I know that the food in front of you is poisoned and you shouldn't eat it, I would tell you that so you will not die. If that will hurt your feelings, I'm so sorry. What should I do? Oh, we shouldn't judge. We should love. Do you understand what I speak about? I love. What's love? God is love. What God wants us to do? He wants us to lead people to heaven or to hell. What Jesus did? He came to put relationships between people against one another. Not because they will hate each other, but because they have to make decision. One would follow him, another one will deny him. That's the gospel. And yes, it says we should love everybody. I love everyone and every soul matters to me. When I hear some young lady or young man left Jesus to follow Muhammad, you don't know my heart. Like, I wish to help everyone understand. We are under a spiritual war and we can see that our spiritual eyes can be open only if we are close to the Lord. That's why the Bible says, when you seek me with your whole heart, you will find me. And it says, if you build your house upon this rock, which is my word, when the storms come and many will come, it will not fall because it's built on a rock. But if you build it on a sand, when the storms come, it's going to be destroyed. And that house is your soul. And I praise the Lord for all good Muslims that have reached out to me. And God bless you all. And who actually just ask me questions about Jesus in a very respectful way. And I feel like you are a part of my family. And I wish you to come to know the Lord. And there are some of them also like very funny. Like they are all, all the time coming to me and telling me like, you know, we respect and we love Jesus Christ and you don't understand and this is not real Islam and send me articles and read this and find this and I said no problem you know I'm there to learn if you can teach me something I don't have any problem so and even there are some moments when it's very painful and things that we have to go through God is just so good and so faithful and he basically picks me up every single time and tells me get up I have work for you and send me some amazing people who encourage me and give me hope you know I think today I was very clear to address these things and my type of thinking my belief system and I will not bow down to any other God 
and I will not show respect to anyone else except the God of Israel. I will use every opportunity to preach the gospel. I'm not going to put my light under the carpet. I'm not going to hide the gifts that God gave me. I'm praying every day that he leads me in my ministry and to speak through me. And I speak about Muhammad and I expose his life because I don't believe he was a man of God. I mean, uh, he said he was uh, riding a donkey to get to heaven. He said that he split the moon in two pieces. Uh, he said if you stand and drink water, you must vomit. I mean, I just don't have to say anything else. I think that's enough for today. If you know me, you know I'm a Christian. My Lord demands the respect to be shown only to Him. I serve the Lord and the Lord alone. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.